subscribers welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you on how to convert coordinate from projected coordinate to geographical coordinate or from geographical coordinate to projected coordinate okay just watch me as i put you through on how to get that done the first thing you have to do is you come to your file you click on files then after you click on files the next thing for you to do is to locate open works worksheets that is you have to note your worksheet this is your worksheet for you to locate your worksheet you can either come through the file here you click on your worksheet or you come to this place that says under this place here under this place you can see under the home here we have worksheets so that is, is how to locate your worksheet so as soon as i click on my open worksheet now all right as soon as i click on this open worksheet, asking me to select the location when i have my folders all right so i have the I have my Excel folders like the data that I want to convert from whatever uh, format, either projected or geographical. I have it on my desktop. So what I'll simply do is to select the file. All right, this is the file. I save it with one, two, three. So I'm just going to open it. You can see now it has been opened on the screen. So the worksheet has loaded the list of the coordinates. You can see the coordinate is currently on projected coordinates. That is UTM coordinates, my X, Y, Z. All right, that's fine. Now, you have to understand what you need, actually. This is, under this place, you can see it says new projected coordinates. We have degree minute and seconds to decimal degree. You can just play with your software to know how to achieve this. But I'll be focusing today. What you simply do is you click on this new projected coordinates. All right, as soon as you click on new projected coordinates, it's going to bring out this display on the screen you can see it's requesting you to set the it says self coordinate system so you have to define the coordinate system of the imported coordinate that you are working with what does that mean when i click on these three dots so when i click on these three dots you can see it brought out a suggestion for me that local settings local system we have predefined so what i'll simply do is since um, i need you can see is uh you can see on this plus sign we have geographical which is corresponding to your latitude and longitude coordinates and this is the projected but since i already know uh, i imported the projected coordinates so you have to set the coordinate system of all you import so the coordinate system of this particular job i imported was projected so what i'll simply do is i'll click on projected system all right as soon as i click on projected system we have utm we have world and likes but what you simply do is you click on world you click on utm under this utm we have africa we have asia europe new zealand north american and likes just name it we have wgs 84 this is our uh, wgs is 84 here but because i'm interested in my country i want to convert this particular coordinate to the nigeria coordinate so uh what i'll simply do is i'll click on africa my interest is to locate nigeria so as soon as i click on africa as soon as i click on africa you can see this is nigeria so i'll click on this plus sign i'll click on this plus sign then this particular coordinate is on utm zone 31 all right, so I'll just select this UTM zone 31 and then I'll click on OK. Now you can see it's saying source my X and Y. That is my X and Y. This is my eastern and this is my northern. I've been I've defined the source coordinate system. All right, so now this particular uh, my other column that is the output of the result where I want to convert. I want you to display it in, in geographical coordinates. I want it to be displayed in latitude and longitude. So what I'll simply do is I'll click on these three dots. Then I'll select geographical coordinates, lat and long. You can see in brackets. So what I'll simply do next is to select WGS84. You can either type to your keyboard W. It's going to bring out the list of W what you have. So when I type or you use these scroll down buttons to scroll down. So when I type W now, you can see now then i'll move down i'll move down a bit you can see it here world geodetic system 1984 and that is wgs84 so what i'll simply do is now is to click ok then on this target columns 
you can see this is my column ABC has been represented with my coordinates X, Y, Z. That is my east, north, east, and height. All right. So what I'll simply do is to move this column to F and G, so that it's going to space out the result for me. I can see clearly. Then I'll click OK. All right, you can see now the result has been displayed clearly on the screen. This has been converted from projected coordinates to geographical coordinates. And that is how to convert from projected coordinates to geographical coordinates.